The sweep tackle is a tackle that I've really used a lot the last few years playing college football and coaching these youngsters. You need to understand that there are going to be times when I have a cornerback that's only 5 feet 9, 170 pounds, having to come up and run support and tackle a 260 pound fullback or a 280 pound tight end. The numbers just don't match up. So all those coaching illustrations that we talked about earlier as far as the far number, shooting the hands, running it through the shoulder pads, those, all, those techniques will all be the same. The only difference between those tackles and the sweep tackle is the fact that our aiming point is going to go from the far number down to the far thigh board. I do not want to promote this tackle technique to the youth to the youth leagues. I think sweep tackling is what is something that, that, that is pushed at the collegiate level and maybe the high school level. But, but as far as the youth leagues go, I think we need to stay everything high and hard. And I think that's important for you young coaches to understand. Let's go through the sweep tackle. Number one, we want to still work through the far thigh board of the wide receiver catching the football or the ball carrier running it. We want to work through it, and as we work through it, we want to take a shot, but we want to take a shot through the man. Too many times I see uh, uh, defensive backs especially come up to make that tackle, and they take a shot right at the man, but they don't try to fight through the man to make the tackle. So we always talk about when you make a tackle, when you make a sweep tackle, you want to try to make a sweep tackle through the man, as if you're trying to get get through the man three to four yards behind the, the, uh, defense, or the offensive target point. We still talk about shooting the eyes to the sky on contact, and we still talk about shooting the hands and bringing the arms. Real quick here, the way we set up the drill is the same way we set up the side tackle and the side ups. We'll put the ball carrier across from the defensive player anywhere from 5 to 10 yards. We'll give those, those kids some landmarks. We'll drop a cone or we'll drop a dot on the ground so those kids understand the angle that we want this tackle to take place. I like to, I like to put myself, the coach, I like to put myself behind the ball carrier. That way, when we're working sweep tackle, I can really focus on whether or not this defensive player is keeping his eyes open, if his head's getting across on the tackle, and is he trying to tackle the man through me. By standing here on a good sweep tackle, I should have to kind of get out of the way if I'm just lined up three or four yards behind that tackle, that impact point. It's better illustrated on the videotape, so let's go ahead and take a look at the sweep tackle. Inside out, shoot the hands. You gotta keep your head up on the tackle. Work through the aiming point, that thigh board. There's a good one, good square shoulder sweep. Another good one, great job shooting the hands. Shoot them and run them, not bad. Ball carriers are doing a good job, working over top of the tackle, getting their feet out of the grass on contact. Inside out, he needs to keep his head up. Got to keep your head up. Inside out, shoot it. Head was down there. Not bad, just bring your backside, backside left leg on that. Not bad, got to fight to try to wrap it up. Realistically, you won't be able to wrap up every sweep, but you want to fight to try to. 